Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, it's a desktop computer. Here in this computer, the fault is no power issue due to this SMBS power supply module. So here we already installed a new power supply module by replacing the old faulty one it's a common fault in these types of desktop PCs now we need to fix this new SMBS module in this desktop cabin after fixing this SMBS module now we need to connect all sockets to motherboard After connecting all sockets to the motherboard, now we need to connect the power cables to hard disk and DVD drive. This cable goes to VRM section of the processor in the motherboard. Now we connected almost all sockets. It's a DDR2 PC. Along with this, here we also replace the CMOS battery. See friends, here you can see, now the CPU is turned on, here you can see the fan is rotating. Now I will show you after connecting the desktop PC with monitor and check it's ok or not you can see at present condition the motherboard is working with new SMBS you can see the fan is CPU fan is rotating so now let us check the display by connecting the CPU with monitor See friends, here we now connected the VGA cable and here you can see the result. This warning error message is due to CMOS battery related fault. So here we need to replace the CMOS battery also along with this. Now let us connect this keyboard. After connecting the keyboard, we need to press the F1 button on the keyboard. See friends, the CPU is working normally. So now the next step is to replace the CMOS battery. See friends, this is the CMOS battery. Here you can see the battery number is CR2032. This is the code for the CMOS battery, it's a button cell. The battery number is CR2032. This is the this model battery we should use. So here we replace it with new battery to avoid the BIOS warning error message. So that's it. 